To start using the timeline in Shotcut, first you need to make sure the timeline panel is open by clicking the timeline button on the toolbar. At this point we can start locating clips that we want to include. Uh, we'll just drag and drop some clips here, trying to find the one that we want. Oh yeah, maybe it's this one. Just drag the clip down into the timeline area. There's no track yet, but it'll create one for us. Dropped it in there and it's as simple as that. We did not have to first create a project, set up the video settings and give it a name and import media into a media bin and organize it. We can just get going right away. Now, if you do want to be able to control and use some of those things, here's what we have for you. By default, the video mode is automatic, which is what I'm using here, which means that the project's uh, video settings are determined from the very first clip that you add to the timeline and we can get the properties here and see how that's set up now if you want to be able to give it a name then we'll just click save save it as something say uh, my project my project has a name now to do something like a media bin we'll just go to the playlist back to our source and we'll just add the source to the playlist you can drag and drop also I can do sub clips I'll just mark a section here with the in and out points and click the plus sign so that's one way to do it let's go find another clip let's go back to this one drag and drop it into there okay let's just start here and we'll end there and again we can put that into the playlist and use that as our bin and now when we double click on each item in the playlist we can open up our different shots and choose a shot to add to the timeline now you saw before that I did a drag and drop into the timeline this time I'm just gonna click the plus and it's going to add it to the end of the current track. Let's take a look at this uh, menu here and the toolbar for the timeline. Let me make some room here. And if you click the first button on the toolbar, it opens up a menu. We can add an audio track, we can add a video track. And there's some other options in here. Let's make the track shorter since we're on limited space here. Let's take a little tour of the timeline UI. So you have the toolbar here, we talked a little bit about that. Along the top we have a, a time bar ruler and if you click and drag you can move the current position indicator, which is this triangle in line, to a different place. Um, you can see here that there's scroll bars. Our timeline right now is exceeding the length of the window so we have a scroll bar. If we go to the bottom left hand corner, there's a slider to adjust the size of the timeline or the scale of it so that we can scale it down, uh, zoom out if you will, and now the timeline fits within our window. On the left hand side are the track headers. When I click on a track header, it changes what is known as the current track and it gives it a golden color to indicate that is the current track. Certain operations uh, take effect based upon what is the current track. The top line of the track header is a track name and if you click on it you can rename it. We'll call this say the RB roll. The M stands for mute, H, hide, and C for compositing. And we'll cover some more of these in detail later. And we can see along the uh, toolbar here, we have the append, which we talked about. But we have a, a remove, remove the selected clip. When you click on a clip, it'll change color slightly to indicate that is selected. And if you right click on a clip, there's a uh, shot specific type of menu, context menu. 
can move some clips around. You see here we can adjust some things. Uh, move If we move this down into an audio track, you see the video thumbnails go away and it's a shorter uh, track because we're not displaying any video information. So it's an audio clip at this point. Um, but we can change that again. Whatever is topmost is what's going to appear in the output. At this point, um, this is our, our clip here of this uh, kids playing in the garden. And it's still playing over, even though below we have this picture or this shot from Big Sur. Um, you can trim the clip on the timeline by clicking and dragging these handles here. We can move clips between tracks. We can uh, change the order of them. Like this. And if you right click on an empty space, you can remove that empty space and it shifts all the clips to the left.